Hey guys, David Fine from Keys Moz. Down here in Broward County, South Florida, I'm going grocery shopping. And what I'm gonna do right now is show you how easy it is to get involved with some really cool bugs down in South Florida. So uh, I'm gonna go see if there's any bugs on the walls of this public shopping center. Um, urban, South Florida, millions of people. Guys, uh, there's still bugs here. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. But uh, what do you say we go and check the walls of this public shopping center for Moz? Let's see how we do. Alright guys, so here's the deal. Yep, bus time. There's Publix. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna walk around and see if there's anything that we can see that looks like we're gonna see if there's anything that looks moth-like. So guys, the lights that they used to use at shopping centers, um, they've changed them. So they used to use a lot of uh, mercury vapors they used to use fluorescent lights and um, and they used to attract a lot of moths but uh, since they got the technology has gotten so good where um, it's the new LEDs and such have come out the electricity cost costs are way lower and um, they don't attract insects which is what I want but that's not what store owners want so um, guys there's this this used to be a really good way to look for bugs and find some pretty cool mods, but it hasn't, it's nowhere near what it used to be. But every now and then we can still find something and all you gotta do is look. So basically what you gotta do is you just gotta look up in the little cracks and crevices. Sometimes these shopping center walls can actually be uh, sort of a flight barrier and can actually, maybe it's not even the lights that they're attracted to, but as moths are flying, they're just getting in the way and they can act like a big malaise trap and uh and moths can get trapped there so let's let's see if there's anything we can find so yeah guys so i mean these are all leds now i mean they've they've changed them all out it's nothing like it used to be and you know you'll always find interesting things here until <laughs> not always insects but you know a lot of times they're you know you gotta take, just take a real close look and a lot of times it'll be cigarette butts but we're looking for moths we're looking for beetles and stuff like that um don't see anything yet now let's see what we can find here i don't see nothing yet don't see nothing yet okay let's see i need a shopping cart but oh guys check it out look at this oh here's moth number one cool this guys is Protambulux strigillus. Guys, cool moth. Protambulux, Protambulux strigillus. It is a tropical moth that feeds on, actually down here, feeds on poison wood and it feeds on, uh, well, that's down in the hammocks, but also in the same family is Brazilian pepper. So these guys eat Brazilian pepper up here in Broward County because poison, poison wood's not really found down here. They've got a really cool hind wing um, that's variable. Let me see if I can get them to hang on this wall here. The hind wings are variable and they're either orange or red. And this one's got like a two-tone thing going on where it's got the orange on top and then the red, reddish brick color on the bottom, which is pretty cool. This is a male. Uh, guys, really cool bug. This is actually a moth that makes noise. So if you were to actually pick it up, and I'll do it in a minute, we're gonna see if we can hear the noise that this moth makes. And it'll actually make this little chirping noise uh, as it tries to um, discourage something from eating it. So um, pretty cool bug. Look at him, he's so docile and calm. Awesome. Protambulux strigillus. There's a lot of confusion on the name because there's another species from the Bahamas called Protambulix carteri. 
Uh, a lot of people don't know uh, which one is which. They get reported as both. Um, I guess I'm calling them Stragillus. I'm sure somebody will uh, let me have it on that. They think it's Carteride, but I'm calling them Stragillus for now. Either way, cool bug, very similarly related. Uh, let's see if I can show you something on the hind legs of this moth. On the hind legs of this moth, they've got these spikes. I don't know if you can see them there. They've got these spikes, and what, you, what happens is when you pick them up, they'll actually jam those little spikes. You can see them there. They'll jam those spikes into your finger to try and encourage you to let them go. But, um, yeah, he's so cute. Anyway, it looks like a fighter jet. I love the Sphinx moths. Um, but it's one of, I think we got 23 species of Sphinx that live in the Florida Keys. Uh, probably 40 or so that live in uh, South Florida. So, uh, great, diverse group of moths. And this is a big one. So, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. This is a cool bug. Let, let me see if I can get them to uh, make some noise for the camera. Let me see if that works out. Whoop. Starting to fly. Let's see. It's hard to film with your phone. All right. This is a male. So he's got these big claspers down here. And the males of this species, the females are a lot thicker. The bodies, the abdomens are thicker and the wings are more robust. I don't hear him making the noise. Let's see. I don't know. You think he'll crawl on my face? How about that? Yeah. Whoop. Well, he didn't like me. Anyway, he's starting to get excited now. now. Let's see if we can go ahead and save him from getting stepped on or something like that. One of the worst enemies of a sphinx moth. So, here, let's, let's see if we can let him go. Well, he doesn't want to fly, so I'm going to help him out a little bit. So I'm going to get him a little help that he needs to get going. There he goes. Well, and now he's landing on the street. Well, he's in the bushes anyway. Well, hey, we did our best. We got a moth out from the place where he might get stepped on. Got him in the bushes. He doesn't really want to fly away, but that's cool. Guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And... Um, don't forget to keep your eyes open when you're walking uh, at the shopping center because you might step on a moth. Guys, enjoy South Florida. Take care.